On this dark and not so stormy night, I wonder, how does an empire fall? How does a giant end up with modern day ruins? Sears may have been born in Chicago, built the tallest building in the world at one point, but it had some tall ones in Seattle too. Just look down First Avenue to that one in Soto. They got replaced by a conglomerate in its own right. Or that double decker in Shoreline. We found Ed Williams nearby tonight. I mean, they had an escalator and everything in there. They did, yeah, that was fine. He's, like me, watched the collapse. The Sears catalog was the start of Christmas season. That's, I remember that as well too, when you start to fill out your Christmas list. The Sears catalog made mail order mainstream. The company's commercials piped into every home. Yep. Did you ever shop at Sears? Yeah, we used to shop there quite a bit. What'd you buy? Mainly tools, and we also bought some washer and dryers. I think maybe looked at a TV a couple times. So mostly appliances. They were huge. They were very huge. Isn't so it? why did people like Ed stop shopping at Sears? So I think it's like a lot of things these days. People are buying online, and uh, it's just easier to, to get online and buy versus having to come in. Yes, I, Noir, you would see the answer in those abandoned stores or those empty aisles. But really, it has been at our fingertips all along, where we will also likely get the news about the end of an American institution. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.